folk music is um, a, quite a big part of my life. The drum I play is, uh, comes from a folk tradition from the Punjab. And that's a good explanation about what I do, where I came from. You know, going to, to British schools, having many English friends, and we had influences like I was grown up, growing up listening to Duran Duran and Led Zeppelin and people like that. Um, Bob Dylan. At home, we were listening to Nusrat Fatih Ali Khan um, and traditional folk singers, KD, Jack Mongord, people like that. Left school, I joined a local banquet band, and they needed a door player and picked it up. Instantly loved the sound of it, and that was it. Didn't look back. I got invited to a recording studio, but it was for a band called Trans Global Underground that was outside of your regular box. It was world music. They would use chants from Africa or all over the world, actually. They would use samples from the Middle East. 1997, um, we supported Led Zeppelin on a massive European tour. My thought process of what rock music was about and, and speaking to people like Robert, it really opened up my eyes as to um, working with different people, how um, other people influence different songs. I did a recording with a band called the Afro Celt Sound System. He mixed the two cultures of West African, traditional West African music, and he started off with Celtic, um, Irish Celtic music. You can cross culture, you're redesigning and redefining something that, that is tradition without breaking it. After the Afro Celts, I didn't really look back. Simon was venturing out and then he, um, he formed a band called the Imagine Village. It just opened up another door, touring around with gods, absolute folk gods, Martin Carthy, Eliza Carthy, Chris Wood, Billy Bragg, um, Paul Weller. It was incredible to be able to do that. Listening to Scarborough Fair being played on a sitar was, <laughs> was a real eye-opener. What is English folk? Where does it come from? And why does it have to sound in a particular way? Why does only particular people have to sing it? They don't. You don't have to be a certain look, a certain way to do folk music. You can be from any background. <laughs>